In this video, I'll show you how to read, summarize, and analyze PDFs using Microsoft Copilot in Edge. They recently removed the ability to add files in Copilot, which is kind of sad, but there is still actually a trick that you can use to make Copilot read your PDFs. Hello, this is JJ. I hope you are doing well. This video is actually requested by one of my commentators in my last few videos. So feel free to comment down what you would like to see because on this channel, I share practical ways that you can use AI to boost your productivity, save time, and also have some fun along the way. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to have the Microsoft Edge browser. So Edge is come pre-installed with most of our Windows computers. If you're using MacBook or Linux based operating system, you need to manually download the Edge browser from their website. Once you downloaded Edge, open it up. For me, I'm just gonna search Edge here, Microsoft Edge. So I, when I open up, I can see this kind of default homepage. The symbol here is Copilot, which is the Microsoft AI chatbot. You do not need to do anything to get Copilot. It is come pre-installed with the Edge browser. So the problem we have right now at the start of 2025 is that once you click the plus button, you are only able to upload an image and start a new chat. There's no options for you to add your PDFs or Excel files. I'm not sure why they remove it, but if you want to add your PDFs into it, so the trick to add your PDFs for Copilot to analyze is you just go to your PDF. So for example, I want to open my 100 plus page PDF, right click on it, then go to open with. Once you go to open with, click on Microsoft Edge. So once you click on Microsoft Edge, you will open it up in your Microsoft Edge, which is good. So once it opens up, you can see a small button here called Ask Copilot. So it, you just click on Ask Copilot, it comes back to the same Copilot page. And then can, you, you can ask it, can you summarize what is on my page? Okay, so right now it's able to read what is on my PDF or my page right, with another PDF to make sure that it is actually reading from my page. So cross this first, then ask Copilot. Okay, so as you can see, the PDF I'm viewing is a Bunker Pro introduction. It provides an overview with a Bunker Pro, which is exactly what the PDF is about, which means it's reading it successfully. So it depends on which page you go into. So just in case if you are unable to get Copilot to read your PDF immediately, just, cross, just close the, the panel and then click on Ask Copilot again. So just refresh it, even reopen your PDF if you need to. It is sometimes a bit buggy. So, so yeah, so let's continue with the 175 page PDF so that I can test its capabilities. Okay, so this is the uh, robot manual that I wanted to summarize. It's 175 pages. It is for a six axis robotic arm called Orbo. So I'm gonna press click on Ask Copilot again, and then I will ask it to summarize the document so that I can understand how much information that it has, whether is it reading the whole document. So this is how I used to validate or check. Okay, as you can see right now, it's not reading the correct document. So it's reading the, the previous document. So let's try, thanks, can you summarize the document? On my page. Okay, so here you go. Thanks, can you summarize the document on my page? As you can see right now, it's sum summarizing this user manual. Yeah, it, it read everything from the PDF, which is great. Now I want to ask it some questions, some specific questions I want. Okay, for example, I want to learn how to do online programming for this robotic arm and using the Teach Pendant, which is uh, the interface for the robotic arm. Which section and page of the manual has those details? <laughs> So you can find the details on the online program on page using the teach pendant on the online program section of the Orbo. This section starts on page 119. So let's see if it's actually in page 119. Okay, so this is page 119. Yes, as you can see, page 119. As you can see, page 119 is for online programming. 
instructions and this is where I can start um, reading and understand how to do online programming. So next I want to query about the document or PDF. So I ask what format will my project file be saved in. So also tell me which page you found the info. So let's see whether you can find it. The project file will be saved in XML format. And then there's a, a weird citation. I think it's some sort of bug that they didn't format it correctly. But basically the important part is the project file will be saved in the XML format. And did it say where is it? So you can find this information on page 124 of the user manual. So if we go to 124, as you can see, page 124, the project file will be saved as an XML format, which is correct. So that's how I verify that, yeah, it is working and it is reading my PDFs using Copilot. So for now, they didn't specify a page limit that the Copilot can read. So I've tested up to 200 pages and it works well. I think it highly depends on the number of words you have in the PDF. But yeah, comment down below um, how much words have you tested with Copilot and whether it is still reading and analyzing the information in the PDFs. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you want to leverage AI content to boost your productivity and also save time. If you want to support me, make sure to check out my Patreon, link down in the description below. You can get early access to all my videos in my channel ad-free. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.